Hey guys! So I believe today's video is going to be a little bit different for you. Um, I am going to be doing a toy box, toy box, a toy unboxing slash review kind of. Um, I don't know exactly how it's going to go because it's going to be my first one ever, but I figured on my channel, you know, I want to share things that I love, things that I care about, things that I find, you know, just basically just including you guys in my life. So and saying that, I found this the other day at Costco and I was totally enticed by it. Like I was like, oh my gosh, I must have that. I need to know what is inside this box. I, I need, I need, I need. And I told my husband, I showed him and I was like, I need this in my life. And he was like, oh my gosh, like that's kind of you in a nutshell. So I was like, yes, yes, yes. Let me have it. So we went and I got it and I was super excited and I wanted to show you guys. So I've been waiting to open it and today is the day we're going to open it. Yay. <laughs> so um, let me just show you guys real quick what it is. This is Crystal Creatures created by um, Mega Constructs. So if you guys can see that title right there, Crystal Creatures by Mega Constructs. So they are also the creators of Breakout Beast, which is right here on the back of this box. So Breakout Beast has been out for a while. Um, I think they have a couple series out. So um, they this one is a little bit more on the beast side, more of like uh, creatures like that, whereas Crystal Creatures are more on the mythical side and a little bit more gemstone kind of, and just a little bit more colorful in that area. So I was super excited to get this like honestly like no no lie like when I saw this box it was totally giving me like 90s nostalgia and I was like oh my gosh like yes like I'm a 90s kid I need that in my life and if I could put 90s in my head the way that I think about it and I, if I could put in an egg this would be it because in my 90s I was totally a Lisa Frank girl I was Polly Pockets which I am still an avid Polly Pocket collector and I also collect other items but back in the 90s I was like Lisa Frank Polly Pockets I'm in collected I think it was Littlest Pet Shops um comment down below if you guys know what I mean but back then Littlest Pet Shops was not the same as it is now it was definitely like little miniature um it pets but actually in the real form of what the animal looked like and I used to collect the ponies and the ponies would have beautiful hair with like glitter in it and everything like that and different color ponies and I just remember collecting um some of those so I was definitely into all of that um this is also giving me like She-Ra and Gem and the Holograms and a uh, Rainbow Bright kind of like vibes so I was definitely like Yes, I need to have this in my life and I need to share it with you guys because I'm excited about it. I mean, I'm excited just looking at the box. So I hope I'm excited as what is inside the box too. <laughs> but um, in case you guys are wondering, so Crystal Creatures is basically just an egg and it has slime in it with like pieces of um, a creature, a crystal creature inside. So let me just show you guys a little bit. Um, if I didn't share with you guys, I will share with you right now and sh or show you guys. So you can basically get any of those and I think these ones these three are in this set but there are a total of five that you can collect but because I think this is a Costco exclu exclusive I couldn't find this anywhere else on site or online I mean um but I think this is a Costco exclusive and in this exclusive um you can collect this one so she or he, well, her name is Rainbow. So I think it is a girl. So Rainbow the Unicorn is only exclusive to this set. But you can find any of the other ones um, on Amazon or Walmart. And you can buy the individual egg itself. And you'll have to honestly, I think it's like a blind bag. So whatever egg you get, you don't know which one you're going to get. But um, yeah, so I'm kind of excited because it's like a surprise in an egg and you don't know what it is. And it's totally up my alley of color and creation and just just things like that so um yeah I think I'm gonna stop rambling um, oh one thing I did want to say about the brand so Mega Constructs is definitely not definitely I'm sorry Mega Constructs is a brand underneath Mega Brands Inc. Mega Brands Inc. used to be formerly known as Mega Blocks until they just started to include like they had um I think Rose Art Rose Art was in there, uh, Board Dudes, Mega Puzzles, Mega Blocks, obviously, and Mega Constructs was under that. So then they changed their name to Mega Brands because it included more things than just Blocks itself. So, and right now though, uh, Mega Brands is owned by Mattel. So I was like, well, I am definitely a Mattel fan because I collect Polly Pockets back from the 1997 and down to 1989. So, I'm excited. <laughs> so um, yeah, I've never done this before. So if there's mistakes in this video, I'm so sorry. I don't know. I just wanted to unbox it and show you guys what is in it and see what it's all about. And if the slime is good, uh, I don't I don't know. We're going to find out together and see how this goes. 
And obviously after I open this box, I cannot do any more takes after this. So it is, it's go time. So I'm excited. So let's see how this goes and let's see if this is exactly what I think it's gonna be and if it's, um, if it is great. <laughs> I don't know. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment down below or like this video and give it a thumbs up and tell me that you want to see more things like this because I am a collector. I feel like, I don't know if I'm like a toy collector. I, I'm just a collector of all sorts. Like I collect Polly Pockets, more McCornos, perfume bottles, uh, makeup brushes, makeup. Uh, I don't even know. I collect a lot of stuff, stuff animals, you know, so comment down below if you want to see any of my collections too. I will definitely do some videos if you guys want to do that or if you want to see that too. So all in the back and all in the box was instructions basically. Um, and I think it shows you how to put, oh yeah, yeah. So it shows you how to put um, each individual character together. And if you guys can see that on camera, am I showing it correctly? There you go. So that is actually really, really cool. So we are gonna get these three characters, which is really, really awesome. So Rainbow, uh, Rose Stone, and Night Sky. And all of these characters are interchangeable or interlock interlockable. So you can mix and match them basically. And it does show you what, um, what pieces you should be getting, if you guys can see that, for each character, which is really awesome. And then obviously the instructions are um, in other languages other than English, which is really, really cool. So there's that. And I like how it's only just one piece of paper rather than like multiple pieces of paper. So that just makes it really simple and easy to carry. And here they are. These are so, I think they're so pretty. <laughs> they're gorgeous and they're so cute. I'm excited to get into them. I don't know which one I want to open on camera for you guys. So see, I don't know if I'm going to like open all of them on camera because I feel like it's gonna be a long video. So maybe I'll just open one of them on camera and then I'll just do like a little flash in the end of the video and show you guys what all of them look like. So I think I'm gonna do purple because I have purple on my face right now, but I do kind of want to do this one too. I don't, ah, I don't know. Okay, we'll see what it what it's all about. So here we go. No, no turning back now. So there is a little tear strip right here if you guys can see that. Oh, I love the way tear strips down. So I am definitely, um, I definitely do buy toys, if that makes sense. Like I like to collect things. Like I was collecting hair durables for a little bit. Um, and I just like the tear strips on things. And I do a lot of blind bags too. So I don't know. I think, I, am I supposed to twist? Okay, so I'm twisting. Oh, so who is in here? Oh, and it's a bag full of slime. Oh my goodness, look at this. And it's like, it's kind of like in a crystal. If you guys can see that, the bag, that is so brilliant. How cute, it's like in a little crystal bag. And you can see, okay, so I am opening up. How cool, I didn't even know the purple one was this. This is Rainbow, because you can see, you can kind of see the character there. So I feel like I'm gonna get, <gasps> I wasn't prepared for this. I'm gonna get a little bit messy. Oh, well. well. I was looking for like a like a towel or something in case the dust gets really, really bad. But okay, so they said that you can use your egg to keep your slime in. So we will just have to see how this works. But this looks like very, very like liquidy slime. So, and it does have a couple tear strips. So there's one tear strip right here, one tear strip right here, one right there, and one right there. So I think I'm just gonna go from this part because it looks like the easiest. And let's just open it up. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of scared of the slime and everything else going everywhere. Oof. Okay, so it doesn't have like a smell. It has like a chemical smell though. So that's that's a bummer. So I wish they could have set, made this. Wait, let me. Yeah, it's just a chemical smell. So I wish they would have made the slime maybe scented. Scented slime is always a little bit more fun, you know? But, oh my gosh, this is definitely like gooey, ooey slime, which is okay, but let's see how this goes. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Okay, and all these pieces, oh my goodness. <laughs> how are you gonna get the slime out of all the different little spots of this unicorn? Okay, so here's a leg. Here's some hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's so much slime. 
this is like jelly slime. I was not expecting jelly slime. I thought it would have been a little bit easier to clean up. Okay, let's see. So here is, what is this? Is this the stand or is this part of the body? We'll have to find out. Okay, and here is, oh my goodness gracious, what is going on here? Okay, so that's one thing though that I would say that I don't like is how much slime gets in all the little little crevices and pieces, you know, like I guess if you want to wash it out, that might be easy, but if you're just going to play with it right after as a collector, not as a not as a child who's going to open this up and just have fun with it, but as a collector, that's one thing that I'd be like, mm, yeah, I don't know about the slime getting in all the pieces, but okay, so there's that. And I think this is part of the stand. Oh my goodness, this stuff is like gooey. Like, I feel like I'm <laughs> like, like a Nickelodeon snot. <laughs> Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Okay, so there's, there's one wing. That was fairly easy. Here's another one. Oh, and then there's so many pieces in here. So, okay, here's the face of her, of Ring Bell. Another leg. I think I got, yeah, I got two legs out. So this is the third leg. Yeah, and this stuff is definitely gooey. So I would say definitely be cautious of what you are wearing if you don't want it to get it anywhere. Um, I think on the box it does say it does stain. So just be careful where you are putting everything, especially if you have, and then, oh, it's also, I don't know if I said this, but it's five and up because it does contain small parts and you are dealing with slime. So you definitely don't want to give it to a child who puts everything in their mouth because this is probably um, toxic. So you just want to be careful with that. At least um, eating wise, it's toxic. So yeah. What is this? Oh, there's this little unicorn horn. How cute. Okay. That is stuck in there. Oh my goodness. I feel like this is like the most gooeyest slime I've ever dealt with. Wah! Okay, there's the last leg and here is the tail. And there's a couple more pieces in here that I don't know. Hold on. Okay, so yeah, you definitely want to check your slime for very small pieces. Um, I'll show you guys real quick. So, and clear pieces. So here's a clear piece like that. So here's a clear piece. And then if you guys can see this, this I didn't even see and it's yellow, but there's this little yellow piece in there. There's a couple of them. So you wanna make sure you double check your slime for those little pieces. Yeah, see, I have another little, little yellow piece right here. Ah, if you guys can catch that on camera. Really, really small, so you wanna be careful about not losing those pieces. And we're gonna have to see how this is. Ah, it's stuck to me. Okay, there you go. And let's see if there's anything. Oh yeah, here's another one. Another yellow, little yellow piece, if you guys can see that. And sorry, I wasn't, you know what? I wasn't even showing you guys the little pieces, so let me just get the slime off and I will go through every single piece. But oh my goodness, this stuff is super, super goopy. Ooh. It's kind of fun though. It's kind of like cold. And oh, I think I found another little piece in there. Oh, and I think that's part of the stand. Okay, so I found another. Okay, so yeah, definitely be careful because you're going to have like little clear pieces. And I better just double check everything to make sure. So this is a slime, which is really, really fun. Very cold, very cold to touch and just very jelly like. And a little bit, it feels wet, but it kind of, it does kind of come off together. So it's, yeah, it's like, I don't even know how to explain this. It's kind of fun though. So, but it's definitely more like jelly rather than um, like, you know what I mean? Like rather than like the stretchy, stretchy tangible kind of gel or um, slime. So, and it definitely has a wet feel to it. So it has a little bit of glitter in it. So that is kind of cool. So I have a feeling like all the other slimes are gonna be different colors too. But yeah, so this one is pink. So that is cute. So definitely save your slime. And there's nothing else in there. So there is, I'm going to just take off the little slime pieces that I do find, but there is like little clear pieces like this that you definitely want to check for. And then also, obviously you would want to check your little pamphlet and see what pieces you have that uh, might be missing or anything. But I mean, if you just go through the slime really good, you'll be able to find it. So I would, 
I'm just going to kind of clean up a little bit. So that is one thing that I would be just, that's one of my little, I, I don't know, just being able to not get everything out unless you like fully clean it. So yeah, there's, I think that's the bottom of the body. And then these are the wings. So the wings are really, really pretty. I'm sorry. It's a little, um, it's kind of, you can't really see it cause it's blowing out on camera. Let me see if I can do it like this. You guys can catch that. No, is it still blowing out kind of? Okay. Well, it has a lot of detail, which is really, really pretty. It has a little bit of glitter, like a little bit of specks of glitter. So maybe if I, no, you can't even show it on the camera. Sorry, the, it's the way that the, um, the light is behind my camera right now. But you definitely, maybe you can see it down here without the light being so bright. Okay. Well, anyway, so there's the wings. And let's see, I'm just putting all the slime back. And then here's, I think this is the, the mane. So there's a little bit of slime on there, but Rain Bell has a green and yellow mane, which is really cool with some braids in it, which I think is really, really cute. So yeah, I'm just trying to get all the slime out. So I don't know, like I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging the slime, you know, but it is kind of a little bit annoying to try to get all the slime out of all the little areas, you know, unless you have like a, a fine tooth comb or a toothpick to use to be able to go to the slime out or if you rinse it underwater, you would be able to do that. But I'm on video right now, so I can't exactly do that. So, okay, so there's that. So that comes with four legs, obviously. Let me just see if I can get this slime off. And so she has four white little legs that have purple hoof on the bottom. So they just look like that. And obviously they go in the different um, front and back areas. So there's four. Oh, and this one has a lot of slime on it. Okay. Now I think it said when you make your stand, I'm sorry, there's like so much slime. Okay, so I'm gonna have to, let's see. So here's the body. So I know that the body goes together like so. Now the question is, do I put the body together first? So we should read the instructions, right? Let's read the instructions because I'm probably going to do this without knowing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So basically, yes, I, you do put the body together. See, I'm kind of, I want to get all that slime out before I, I wonder if you can take it apart after you put it together, if that makes sense. You know, like, is it easy to take apart or is it going to be kind of really hard to take it apart? So let's see, I'm trying not to make this video too long. It's already at 20 minutes just for a silly little slime creature. So, um, hmm. Okay, well, anyhow, I know that other people can do better videos than me, but I just wanna share something with you guys. So here I go, trying to make my first little slime creature, not slime creature, a uh, crystal creature. <laughs> okay, so there's that. So there's the body. And then you put the legs on. So I think this is the back leg. I'm gonna say this is the back leg. So let's see if I can figure it out without instructions and see how easy this is for a five-year-old. So there's that. There's this leg. This leg. So it does pop in pretty easy. So it's just like a little knob and um, you obviously push them into the hole, which is really, really cool. So the legs are a little bit wonky. Did I do the wrong legs? No, I think I did the right legs. Oh, I think it's just supposed to be like this because she's supposed to have her little leg up. Okay, that makes sense. So then let's see. So her head goes, let's see, I think right here. This looks about right. Okay. And then her, is this her? No, this is, I think this is her hair. Oh, so she does have, okay. So she has a front part for her hair. And then she has the back part. So her her whole mane is two parts. So you guys can see it. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm doing this right or if I'm doing this wrong. But. Oh, come on. It cannot be that hard to put your mane on. Is it that hard? I guess it is that hard. Okay, I am having difficulty and it's just like two little, um, two little holes that you put the little parts in and it should just go right in, but it's not. So, 
it's kind of frustrating. It's like, come on, just go in there. Okay, well, apparently I'm doing something wrong. So I will do this part then. Let's see if this part goes in a little bit easier. Yeah, it does go in easier. So that part goes in easy. So why won't this part go in easy? Oh, maybe I was putting it on backwards. <laughs> I was putting it on backwards, I think. Oh my gosh. Okay. Don't put on the mane backwards. That's one thing I will say. So there you go. Here's her mane. Isn't that cute? Very, very cute. And then obviously you have to put her little horn on. Okay. That is a huge horn for a unicorn. <laughs> so let's see. Where does this go? I think this goes here. Yep, definitely goes here. And this is her tail, which is really, really gorgeous. And, oh, uh, no wonder why I put her on backwards. Okay, see kids, don't do what I did. You will definitely, that's why she looked a little wonky. I put the legs on the wrong side. <sighs> Okay, and then a look, that's a little bit weird. So one has a little white stuff and the other one doesn't. So that's a little bit, a little bit different. Like, I wonder if you can take it out. Okay, there we go. Now she looks a little bit better. Okay, body makes sense now. <laughs> All right, and then let's see. So if she is on a stand, maybe this is the stand. What is this part? Let's see, this goes on her, oh, it goes right here. So this little shield part goes on her um, her chest part. So we'll just put that there. And then I think you put the little gemstone there too. Does it say the gemstone? Yeah, the little gemstone goes on there too. Okay, and then you can put her wings on, which go, let's see, this one goes right here. Oh, and the wings are movable, so they do move. How interesting. So and then you put the little, oh, I see, I see, okay. And then these parts carry that. How cool is that? So this is your little mystical creature. So that took me what, 20 minutes to make? <laughs> 20 minutes to make and five minutes to talk about it. So we'll say about 20 minutes to figure this out with some instructions. Now I will say they are very, very, very beautiful. Um, the wings don't exactly stay up, which I'm a little bit disappointed about because there's not a lot, like it's kind of weighs down if you can see what I mean by that. So, and I feel like the pieces don't exactly stick stick in well like they I feel like everything would be very easy to take off so but if you are supposed to just put it on the stand which would be like so let's see even if she was on the stand and then you were to be able to put her on top of here because that's how you can connect it um like that She's still a little bit on the wonky side. See how her wings don't stick up. So other than that though, I think she is really, really cute. She's very articulate. Um, yeah, super cute though. So that is Mega Constructs Crystal Creatures. I'm a little, do I seem a little disappointed? I feel like I'm a little disappointed. Uh, maybe I was expecting more because the packaging looks so brilliant compared to yeah like her wings on here look like they're clear and see-through if you guys can see that so comparison from the picture to the actual the actual it's, it's fairly different the wings are even different like the wings droop down a lot more than expected even like the the legs are a little bit wonky, and I don't know if that's because it was in the slime or anything, but yeah, and even the tail, their tail is kind of going up like this. So, I mean, even if her tail was up like that, it's just a very, it's very cute, but the 
I think they can do a little bit better if they try. Maybe put a little bit different more um, in the plastic or something. But yeah, so, well, there you have it. Am I still happy I got it? I think it's super cute and I'm super excited to have tried it out. Um, the slime part was really, really fun. So I don't know, you guys tell me what you think down below. Is it really worth your coin? And would you get this for a niece, a nephew, a daughter, a friend, uh, a son, whatever it is that you would get, would you get it? So yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.